today is how to have a protein rich breakfast. So I'm going to give you three different examples. But first, let's just talk about why it's important to have a protein rich breakfast. There's a few reasons. Number one, starting your day off with protein makes you more get your metabolism revving. So if you were to have, for example, something like this, this is an egg muffin that I that I made, which I'll tell you how to make in a minute versus a bagel. When you take that bagel in, it's all white flour, all carbohydrates. You take it in, your body releases insulin, it breaks it down, it stores it, you have a drop in that blood sugar, and all of a sudden you might feel a little bit tired and even more, and even hungry. So then you reach for something else, so it becomes a cycle. Now that's not good for anybody. Number one, if it's one of your kids and they're in school and they have that drop in blood sugar, they're gonna feel kind of tired and now they're in class and they're not gonna be able to pay attention. And if you're trying to lose weight, that's not great also because now you're going to be on this yo-yo thing where you're always reaching for something because your blood sugar is going up and down. So when you have a protein rich breakfast, it starts you off on the right foot. So let me give you three examples because sometimes that's not that easy. A lot of our clients ask us for some, some tips, some strategies, some recipes because it's much easier to reach in the freezer for a waffle or a bagel or some cereal. So my first recommendation is this. It's called an egg muffin. Now, I made it ahead of time and that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to put some work in. What I did is I, miss, I mixed six eggs, a breakfast sausage, and these are the sausages that I got at Stu Leonard's, um, spinach, frozen spinach that I had in the freezer, so I defrosted that, put, in that, put that in there, and some cheddar cheese. I also seasoned it with salt and pepper. Now, you can season it with whatever you like. Say you like something spicy, you can use a buffalo spice. If you like more Italian, you can put oregano. If you like tomatoes, throw tomatoes in there. If you had leftover chicken from the night before, throw the chicken in there, because that's gonna up the protein count. So whatever you have in the fridge, put it in there. Then all I did is I mixed it all together, put them in an, uh, a muffin tin, and put it in the oven for about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Now, before you put it in the muffin tin, what you wanna do is take a little olive oil and grease the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick, okay? The other thing that you can do, you can use a, this is a loaf pan. You can make it in here and then slice it up. And this way you have a couple of different breakfasts for, the, for each for the next few days or for, you know, for your kids, whoever it's for. So that's one option, something, uh, an egg muffin, in the morning. Now, if you want to make it a little bit heartier, you can just add some bread. You can put it in a sandwich, pop it in the microwave in the morning, and you're good to go. Okay. Second recommendation is, and I've talked about this before, we've posted on this, is to prepare a, um, it's um, overnight oats. Now again, you can do this the night before. Now what I like to do, I always keep this little measuring cup in the oatmeal. So it's right there and you can just throw it in. This is a quarter cup. All I would do was put this in here and add whatever I want or whatever you like in there. Now, you can have frozen berries. Now we talked about shopping, you wanna keep things like this on hand. Or if you have fresh fruit, bananas, strawberries, you can add that in. You can also add some nuts. Now this makes it more, it gives it a little bit more crunch and a little bit more satiety. So meaning it's gonna keep you full because it has a little bit of healthy fats in it. The other thing you could add is some flaxseed for some more fiber if you wanna feel a little bit fuller. And then you can add uh, the milk. Now, whatever kind of milk you use, almond milk, regular milk, oat milk, whatever you have handy or whatever you usually use, and the protein. Add the protein because right here, this scoop of protein has about 20 to 21 grams of protein. So this, the oatmeal's got some protein, the nuts have some protein. So you put that all together in a jar, you mix it up, and you have that for the next day. Now you can make it ahead of time for another, you know, a few days or for, for a few people. Then you say, well, I don't want to take that glass jar. I want to give the glass jar to my kids. So what you can use are buy some disposable coffee cups with lids. Keep them in the fridge, portion them out. You just grab and go, and you got a second choice. Okay, so now we talked about the eggs. We talked about the um, overnight oats. The third thing is simply a grab and go yogurt. So this yogurt has about 13 grams of protein. Now, if you were to get a plain one and you were to add some more protein to it, 
that was, that's gonna up the protein even a little bit more, add some fresh fruit. Now you can do the same thing with the protein, with the yogurt that you did with the overnight oats. If you had a coffee cup, add some yogurt, add some, some protein, and add some nuts, add some fruit, and you, that's a grab and go, again, in the coffee cup. So now we have three choices. We have our eggs, we have our overnight oats, and we when they have our yogurt. A good idea is maybe to rotate those. So some people get bored or they just like, you know, a little variety is nice. And you can change up the flavors in all of them. You can change up the vegetables, the type of cheese that you put in. You can use bacon instead of, instead of the, you know, the sausage. In the oatmeal, you can use different fruits. You can use different flavors of protein, different milks. And in the yogurt, again, same thing, different nuts, different fruits, and you have variety. So you can mix and match whatever you want and start your day with a good dose of protein. So I challenge you for the week to have a protein-rich breakfast every day. Enjoy.